Greetings, travelers. I'm your host, the C-Dot that knows a lot, Dr. Waluigi. So one of the few pieces of media I haven't talked about yet are video games. Of course, being someone who loves movies and comic books, I also enjoy playing many video games and have a wide selection of them to choose from. So choosing a game from my collection to review was hard. I was considering talking about my favorite console or the game that made me want to start collecting video games. But I finally settled on a game series that I got thanks to James Rolfe or the Angry Video Game Nerd. These are my reviews on the Ninja Gaiden series. So Tecmo originally created the first game as an arcade hit in 1988. It was later released on the home console, the Nintendo Entertainment System. The game received high praise with critics and has a high following among fans with sequels and a modern reboot. As for my history on these games, it was all thanks to the AVGN and his review on the first game. See, I didn't grow up with an NES as a kid, and I only know about the games from watching other YouTubers. So after watching the AVGN episode, I decided that I wanted to see if I could beat this game. So I bought it, sat down and played it, and I got as far as the final boss. Yeah, unfortunately I gave up after that, until I replayed it nine years later and I actually beat it. Which, for someone like me, who considers himself a casual gamer, made me happy that I could beat something that not even the AVGN could beat. So thank you, James Rolfe. You made my thumbs go numb through three games, but made me a better gamer through this and a few other games that you've reviewed. I will give a bit of warning here, I am covering the plot of three different games, so just be warned that this segment will be a little long-winded, and a huge spoiler warning for the original series for those who haven't played it. The plot starts with our main character, Ryu Hayabusa, discovering that his father was murdered and was helping an archaeologist to seal away a demon their family had been protecting. The second game then has Ryu going after the demon's second-in-command after he finds out that his girlfriend, who he fell in love with in the first game, was kidnapped after a mysterious stranger tells him what happened. Finally, the third game begins with Ryu going after a person who looks exactly like him after he is told that this stranger killed his girlfriend. Each of the games aren't really anything special when it comes to their plot, but at the time, these games were impressive with introducing the idea of cutscenes and a continuing narrative. The games are all side-scrolling action platform games that were common around this time. You take control of Ryu as you must run, jump, and slash enemies with your sword or other weapons that you pick up along the way. However, in order to use those weapons, you have to collect what this game calls spiritual power to use these weapons and depending on which weapon you have, can drain your power quickly. This wouldn't be too bad if there wasn't a million enemies trying to kill you. Because most NES games were designed to be beaten within an hour, the game designers had to find a way to make the games feel longer. So this and the next two games levels were filled with large amounts of enemies that make the game hard to beat. But it's not impossible to beat these levels once you discover the patterns that are built around each stage. As someone who had never grown up in the same gaming environment as other YouTubers like AVGN or The Completionist, I still find myself enjoying these games. While I do agree that they are some of the most difficult games on the NES, they still present a decent challenge to those looking for it. I give the original game a 5 out of 10, the second one a 7 out of 10, and the third one an 8 out of 10. Again, they have their own challenging factors, but to a varying degree. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Waluigi, and remember, don't judge a book by its cover, because you'll never know what's inside. Good night, everyone.